Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's Dani and today's video we're starting the Andes collection and this first tutorial is this beautiful headband, the Andes headband and it's crochet as you can tell or maybe not, maybe you're confused with the stitch and you think it's um, knitting but it's actually crochet. So I'm super excited to show you how to make this beautiful and easy headband and as you can see it looks so so pretty it's perfect for markets it's perfect to give us a gift or whatever you want to do if you want to keep it for yourself that's good too <laughs> and this video is in collaboration with my friends at clover so i'm super excited and happy that they are sponsoring this video and yes, so before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that yet. And a quick reminder, I'm going to leave you the link of the reading pattern in the description box below if you want to check that out. And now let's get into the video. So for this project, I'm going to be using a Clover 6.5 millimeters crochet hook. And I will be using a bulky yarn. This is by Lion Brand, color Made Easy. Um, and I'm gonna be using just 70 grams of yarn. If you don't have this kind of bulky yarn, you can always use a worsted weight yarn, just holding the, the yarn two strands together and you're gonna have the same effect as a bulky yarn. So there's not excuse, maybe you wanna use a worsted yarn that you have in your stash and that's totally fine. Just grab two strands together and that's it. You will also need a pair of scissors and a tapestry needle. So to begin, we're going to start with the foundation chain. And now chain 59. And in this part, you want to make sure your chain is not extremely tight or extremely loose. This is going to go around your head. So if you chain super, super tight, it might be uncomfortable around your head. And another quick um, reminder is this is an adult size headband. So once you're done with your foundation chain, we're gonna half double crochet slip stitch <laughs> in the second chain from the hook. We normally would do this, but now we're gonna turn the chain and work from the back. Okay, so not the front as we would normally do. We're gonna turn the chain and start from the back. So we have in here the second chain and we're going to half double crochet in the second chain from the hook. But we're not gonna close that half double crochet as we would normally do. We're gonna slip stitch it. So in here, instead of closing it, we're just gonna slip stitch. So we, here we go again. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, and pull through two. And that's a half double crochet slip stitch. So we're gonna repeat these all the way along until we finish you should have 58 stitches so make sure you are counting your stitches or you put a stitch marker or something so then you are not gonna be missing a stitch having extras or less so just take your time and repeat this sequence all the way along For row number two, and here we're gonna do the last one. There you go. For row number two, we're gonna start with chain one, turn your work, and now look in your project from the top, not the front, the top. We're gonna do exactly the same stitch, but from the back loop of your stitch only. So as you can see in here, 
we're just gonna be crocheting from there so yarn over insert your hook just in the back there in the back loop and slip stitch and in here is where you can place a stitch marker if you feel comfortable if you feel like you are gonna miscount you can always place a stitch marker there it's gonna help you to identify the first stitch and now continue doing this half double crochet slip stitch from the back loop only and make sure to um, look the, the, the stitch from the top of your project because if you look it from the front we also have that little like kind of V stitch and you can confuse it so from the top now for row three chain one tur turn your work and we're gonna do exactly the same so this is basically it that's the stitch and this is what we're gonna continue doing all the way along and like I said I like very wide um, headbands because I like them to be I don't know very very chunky around my ears so for this project I'm gonna be doing 14 rows but you can totally change that if you don't like your headband to be as wide you can do less rows and if you like even wider you can crochet more rows that's totally up to you and this is how your big rectangle should be looking like now we're gonna leave approximately a meter of yarn and we're gonna cut the yarn in here so we can sew the ends pull this loop so then we make sure it's not gonna undo anything grab your tapestry needle this one is great because it has a big opening and so easy to thread it up and so once we have this as you can see we have one string of yarn in here and then we have the other one in the opposite side this is gonna happen if you do uh, an even number of rows and it's gonna be perfect to um, close that headband so now we're gonna fold it in half just like this and grab the other end fold it in half as well and we're gonna place them just like this again I'm gonna place them like this making sure those four sides are very well put together and now you're gonna grab your tapestry needle and sew those four pieces together try to do this part slow making sure you are sewing and grabbing really really good good those four um, walls kind of things that I call it those four um, pieces because if you don't do it really good when you flip or you turn your work inside out it's gonna leave a little hole and we don't want that so make sure to do it very very good So once you're done make sure there's no holes in here and in the other side so when you are sure that there's no hole now you can tie a few knots and of course weaving those ends make sure that there's no um, strands of yarn hanging there so use your tapestry needle to weave in those ends Cut the remain and 
we'll do the exact same with the other little piece of yarn in here. And this is when the magic happens. Now we're gonna turn this inside out and voila! <laughs> This is how your headband should be looking and as you can see there is no seaming, there is nothing. It's totally perfect because we sew it just right in the middle so it looks absolutely perfect. I really really like this project, it's very easy, super quick to make, like I said before, perfect for markets, perfect to sell on Etsy or just to give it as a gift. But please don't forget to tag me and to give credit to the designer every time you make this because that way you're helping me and I can continue offering you guys free patterns and free video tutorials. So if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And remember that if you want the reading pattern, the measurements, all the materials and everything, you can find that in my blog. The link is in the description box below and also in the first comment of this video. Materials will be also listed in the description box below. And that's all for today's video. I'll see you next week with the next tutorial of the Andes collection. Bye!